Hey guys, my name is Dia and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be having something, hopefully it's a little short, a little sweet. I'm not looking to go too in depth to any of these, but I'm basically going to be going over my major one Boston breach predictions. I'm going to be using the Call of Duty League pick'em system so I can keep track of who, who gets into what matchup. Um, I am not actually concerned with the score. I am concerned with the result. If I say it goes five maps, but it goes four maps, I don't care. In my eyes, I'm still right. I'm not going to be saving any of these and taking a giant ass picture. I am going to kind of keep track of, okay, I said this person would win. That's all I give a shit about. I don't care about being super specific. Atlanta phase versus LAG 3-0. I'm just going to say Atlanta beat LAG. It's clean, cold, cut, and collected. You have an undefeated team versus a team who barely made winners so that being said we have new york subliners versus the rocker i'm gonna say new york win that match i think that goes 3-1 at like the most i don't think that goes really far beyond 3-1 new york or new york have looked great minnesota have looked great towards the end but i mean this is a world championship roster that their only loss was to toronto ultra and they got slammed Everything else they've just looked super comfortable in. So really happy with how the subliners are playing and I hope they keep it up. Toronto Ultra versus the Seattle Surge. I think this goes five maps because I mean, if Seattle Surge come to play, if they don't, if Seattle Surge just show up and they play the game, just, you know, however, they will lose. They will just get slammed. It will be a 3-0, it'll be nothing. But if, I'll give actually, I'll say three one. I think the only point at which this roster stands a chance is search and destroy. I think they lose both the hard points and they lose the control. And then for the final pick in winners, we got Miami Heretics versus Optic Texas. I actually have this going five maps. I think I think um, Miami will beat Optic again, but I don't think it'll be a decimation like it was last time. I think Optic are gonna learn, gonna come back in. I mean, it's Dashy, Shotzi, Kenny, and Pred for fuck's sake. This roster is not gonna lie down and just take the fat L, but I don't think they beat Miami. I think Miami have too much solid teamwork for that roster. Um, I mean, they came out and Optic have not played the best. Let's just be honest. Let's be real. We go to elimination round one. We've got Gorillas Thieves. I think this goes five maps. I have, I have Gorillas beating the Thieves. Um, I think that goes five maps. I think both teams look very scrappy. Very, both teams kind of look chaotic. However, Diamond Con is going to be the difference maker. I think Diamond Con is putting in work and he is representing this LAG roster very well. Um, on the other side, I think Thieves, Afro has been too inconsistent, Cami, everyone talks about Cami's Cold War form, that's done, he no longer has that, he's had one good, maybe two good maps for that Thieves roster, and that's it. Ghosty's been playing really solid, really, really proud of Ghosty, and Joe Deceives is great. That roster has a lot of potential, but I just don't think it's been coached into them yet, I think it's going to take this major loss for them to tick, and I think they come into the next set of qualifiers more focused, more ready, and they come with better results. Optic Texas versus Legion. Optic Texas just roll them. As much as I would like this Vegas Legion roster to win, and as much as I'd like them to play to their potential, no. They just won't. This will be a 3-1 at most. Seattle Surge versus Boston Breach. I think this goes five maps. I wouldn't I don't think it'll go four maps. Um, I think it goes five. Both teams are evenly cut out. I'm gonna go ahead and give this to the Surge and say it's 3-2 to the Surge. Then we got Rocker versus Ravens. I'm going all in on the Ravens. Uh, I think the Rocker have been playing great and I really do think that they stand a good they stood a good chance. I got I got Ra I got Ravens 3-2 in Minnesota. We scroll back up to winners. We have Atlanta versus Miami. This goes five maps. But I obviously am going to favor my boys in FaZe. Undefeated, showing very few signs of weakness. I got to favor FaZe here. Now, yes, Miami, I think, have two absolute grind matches in front of them. I have FaZe 3 2ing Miami. This is going to be a really good game. Toronto versus New York. I have this being another super close grudge match. Um, I think New York Subliners come out to play this time. I don't think they get 3 0'd. Not even close. Um, but Toronto would just show in one game mode alone, they have the highest differential in hardpoint by an absolute landslide, and they just look more comfortable than New York on this game. Kismet has a bit of a grudge match against Scrap. We, we saw that last year in Champs Finals. They reverse swept, or no, sorry, to reverse swept. They absolutely swept them, and Kismet played like an absolute menace. This is not the same situation. This is not the same energy. I got New York getting sh thrown down into lowers in this match. Gorilla's Optic, I think this is a 3-1. I don't, uh, I think LAG will fight back here solely because they've got tested versus FaZe and they got tested versus LAT. Um, I think they fight back, but they just ultimately lose. This just is what it is. I mean, 
Nothing too crazy to say here. It's Optic versus LAG. Diamond Con and Co. will not be able to keep up. And if they prove me wrong, whew, we're in for a good tournament. We are in for a good tournament if I get proven wrong then. Seattle versus Ravens. I don't want to be that guy despite what I just said about the Ravens. But I think it's done here. I think Seattle is better than Minnesota. And I think it's... I. You know what? No, I'm going to stick with my Ravens for this game. Uh, I'm going to say that Ravens edge this out. Because now that I think about it, again, Seattle Surge just... Bleh, hit and miss sometimes they're amazing sometimes they are mid we got new york versus optic five maps i got new york being optic oh i think this is where optics run ends new york just out of the four big in atlanta toronto new york texas I think texas just look the worst not even stats wise but just on the game they're just looking like they're struggling i hope they prove me wrong because i want nothing but competitive matches at the end of the day but they just don't look the best they don't look the most put together we can call it miami versus carolina i'm sorry but this is where carolina ends this is a 3-0 in and out you are done and dusted carolina miami will show up to play and miami are just gonna take care of business they don't seem like a team that is worried about being put down they realize that they'll lose games and they're ready to bounce back winners finals i'm getting the feelings of cold war all over again in atlanta phase versus Toronto Ultra. I'm gonna, this goes five maps. This will be the first time I think Atlanta has been truly tested all year because I thought it would be Texas. They 3 0 Texas. 3 2. Toronto take both the hard points. FaZe take both the searches and the control. This is going to be, if this is true, if this Atlanta versus Toronto matchup happens, this will be, I think this is going to go down. Wow, the best game of the year so far. Um, That does push Toronto down to elimination finals, which brings us to elimination round four to find out who they're playing, which is New York versus Heretics. This is such a hard one for me to call, but I think Miami lose here. I got New York winning it. How many do I have Miami taking? Heretics take two. Heretics take two. And these are going to be a close two. I don't, I can't tell you which game modes. I just, I'm very, very excited. We go into the elimination finals. It's so hard for me to call a repeat matchup. It's so hard, man. If they replay, will the result be the same? I think after two matchups, I think New York win their lesson or learn their lesson, excuse me. They come out, they're ready to fucking play. Toronto get in their heads. Granted, it comes down to game time. They may be just amazing. But Sib needs to, I think, take a look. Be Priesta, but with the slaying ability. Um, he needs to rotate. He needs to read his team. He needs to learn, like, learn essentially to get on rotations faster. Either him or Skies have to do it. One of those two. Kismet and Hydra should not be doing it. And then we have FaZe versus New York in the finals. This is going to be a best of seven. This goes all the way. Seven maps. This is a, this is a, just a grudge match. Just back and forth. And, but FaZe win the whole thing. FaZe remain undefeated going into qualifier two. And I think when we hit qualifier two, that is when FaZe lose their first game. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the channel. It really helps the channel grow. Let's me know if you enjoy the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Until next time, this is Dia. Setting up for a fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.